people. I like to be around groovy, groovy people. I don't like nobody. Hi, I'm excited to have here with us Tyson Amir. Now, you've been hearing me talk about the fact that we're here at the African American Museum and Library in Oakland, California. And this is an honor. This event has to do with Literacy Month. This is just a phenomenal event with a lot of youth, young adults. But what's really interesting is Tyson Amir is actually from the Bay Area. Uh, grew up in San Jose, is that correct, Tyson? That is correct. I'm and from San Jose. Um, okay, I <laughs> said. And you moved out of San Jose. And, yes, I uh, had to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But we want our audience to know that you are really blessed because you're a rapper. You told me that you've also uh, you've written a book. Yes. What's the title of your book? The book is Black Boy Poems. Black Boy. Poems. Yes, ma'am. That in itself is phenomenal. And you're one of our featured um, authors here today. You're going to be talking about uh, that book, and I'm certain reading some excerpts from it as yes. well. Yes. And I think that that's powerful. I was giving you a little bit of a hard time because you're pretty soft spoken, but I can mm -hmm. imagine when you get into character and you're speaking, you know, all of that actually comes out as well. It does. It's not necessarily character, you know, it's embodying what's okay. already inside of me all right it comes out good yes good. well i'm looking forward to that i am too you know that yeah oh <laughs> ab absolutely so you're here in the bay area you've written a book you have uh, some uh really deep messages yes um you know and i would say more for our black and brown brothers and sisters yes. who really need to understand and embody what's actually going on in the world but tell us about how you even got into you know being a, a rapper or writing poems because something had to happen there no doubt i say it all begins so with my parents and my family tradition that i've inherited and i come okay. from a long line of people that have been fighting for their freedom. Mm -hmm. And so the first hat that I feel that I wear is that of a freedom fighter. Mm -hmm. And so trying to find any and every possible avenue to manifest that for myself and for the people that I represent. Mm -hmm. And so growing up, you know, I'm a child of the 80s, a child of the 90s. We break dancing, uh, you know what I'm saying? Pop locking, we <laughs> right. rapping, right? right? So in trying to master that cultural artifact, and then being true to what I feel that my family has given to me, that voice began to come out and begin to articulate those messages. And so okay. and over time, it became more complex as my understanding of things grew and my experience in the world grew. Mm -hmm. And so it eventually evolved into what we now have, which is Black Boy Poems, which I feel is a beautiful way to articulate the struggle, the history, the legacy of our people and what we're still trying to accomplish, which mm -hmm. is the freedom and the liberation of our all people. Right. Right. You're absolutely right. And it's definitely something that's needed, especially for our black and brown men. No they really need to understand, stand up, that you're kings, mm -hmm. you know, walking amongst kings. And somehow, somewhere, some way, that just continued to get mashed down mm -hmm. it, as opposed to it, it exploding and opening up. Uh, and what you're talking about and what your book is about and what you speak and rap about are those things that should take people, I would say, from zero to a hundred and understanding what really needs to happen yes. in our life. Um, you're going to be upstairs. Yes. You're going to be, uh, as I said, performing. And uh, I'm looking forward to catching up with you from there. But I'm also looking for us to have a much longer dialogue I uh, at another time for us to be able to capture you in all of your glory, but to also be able to share the wealth of information that you have. So I want to just ask you, how can people follow you? What are your social media um, site information? So if people are interested in learning more, they can find me at my website, TysonAmir.com, or we have a website for the book as well, BlackBoyPoems.com. Both of those will plug you into any and everything involved that I'm involved with or that the book is involved. Okay, and that's T-Y-S-O-N-A-M-I-R. Yes. Correct. Uh, dot com. So TysonAmir.com. Yes. All right. Uh, we want to make sure that people follow you. And uh, if you haven't gotten out, I want you to come down because we definitely want you to purchase... Uh, Tyson's book. Um, 
I'm getting an autographed copy myself. <laughs> you you going to get that, Gloria. Okay. You know you're getting okay. that. Okay, awesome. So I'm looking forward to, uh, again, like I said, us continuing to have this dialogue yes. and to talk. Uh, but I want to wish you all the very best Thank today. You. I appreciate um, that. Receive that and go out and go forward knowing, you know, what your mission is in life and what it is that you must do. Yes. And I think that you're really, really clear on that. But I'm just honored that you would stop by to kind of chat with me for a minute before they swoop you off into doing something else. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm honored as well. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity and I look forward to what we're going to do in the future. Absolutely. Good job, man. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.